I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today, five winter business casual outfit ideas. Up first, you know, if I had to pick just one outfit to wear for the entire winter season, I think it would be this one right here. Other than something formal, I really feel like I have pretty much all my bases covered here. This is something you could easily wear to work, out to a nice meal, on a date, cocktails. It's dressed up with a bit of casual nonchalance and made up with some of my favorite pieces for the season. Starting off with the jacket from the HSS Michael Andrews collection, fox flannel fabric, glen plaid pattern, and patch pockets make it just a super versatile jacket. Adding in some texture and some casual elements underneath. Also from the collection, we have a denim shirt paired with a classic navy grenadine tie by Drake's. Flannel pants with the subtle houndstooth pattern are by Peony Parma. Pocket square is by Drake's. On my wrist, we have the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel. And finally, anchored by a pair of burgundy tassel loafers by Johnston and Murphy. Second look here definitely emphasizes the business side of business casual, but since it's not a full suit, but rather a blazer with trousers, I'm gonna throw it into that category anyway. This is definitely a winter menswear uniform of sorts, both in terms of the colors and the fabrics. We're talking menswear 101 here, folks. Navy jacket, gray trousers, both flannel. Double-breasted jacket is by Ring Jacket, and the pants are from the HSS collection. Since this is such a classic combination, I wanted to keep the shirt and tie combo along the same lines. So we have an ice blue Oxford cloth shirt from the HSS collection that I've paired with this burgundy striped tie by Drake's. I like how it has a little bit of that trad flavor without being super overt. A few more details to mention. First, the pocket square, also by Drake's. On the wrist, another classic, my Rolex Datejust with the Jubilee bracelet. And then finishing off the look, we have a pair of GH Bass Kilty Loafers. Next look, gonna be totally honest here, absolutely inspired by seeing one of my friend Jonathan's looks at the most recent Pitti Uomo. Jonathan is at Milan Style Live on Instagram, definitely give him a follow. This look to me is all about simplicity, comfort, and casual elegance. It's always good to remember that the simplest looks can often be the most impactful, especially when you're dealing with darker colors. Foundation of this look here is a dark gray turtleneck, which is from Uniqlo, and these navy flannel pants are by Peony Parma. So I've really been into the tucking the turtleneck into the trousers thing this season. I like the clean look of it, and especially the way it can show off the sartorial details of your trousers. Up top, adding in some pattern with a classic chalk stripe flannel jacket, also from Peony Parma. This creates some visual interest and a focal point for the entire look. On my wrist, we have the Cartier Tank American. Up top, flat cap is by Gorin Brothers. And then on my feet, we have the suede tassel loafers by Morhas. You know, menswear doesn't have to be that hard. Get some great basics and there's a lot you can do with them. Even a very similar looking outfit can be completely transformed by just changing one single element. I bring this up because I feel like this is a look that I wear fairly often in some form or another. Add a tie, change the collar type, remove the pattern, and you've got something completely different. Here though, I am indulging in some very simple pattern mixing. First, we have a windowpane plaid in the jacket. This is by Reese from many, many years ago. And then the shirt from our collection has a wider stripe. This look is more casual without the tie, but I also think it loses a little bit of focus without it, which is why I decided to wear some glasses just to try to balance things out. These are by Tom Ford. On the wrist, once again, the Cartier Tank American and then finished off with the Johnson & Murphy tassel loafer. Finishing things off here by bringing back the jacket from the first look. I told you it's one of those pieces that I would wear every day if I could. Guess there's nothing holding me back other than that I like a little variety. Here though, I'm going to cast it as the hero piece of the entire outfit. Much like the third look where the chalk stripe of the jacket kind of commanded your attention, the focus here is also on the pattern. Remember, when you're dealing with a single piece that's more of a statement making piece, best thing to do is to keep the rest of the outfit simple so that piece can be the focal point. Underneath, we have a simple brown turtleneck that's by Ted Baker. Mid gray flannel pants are from the HSS Michael Andrews collection. Pocket square, also by Michael Andrews. My glasses, which you guys ask about all the time, are by Cubits, JLC Reverso on the wrist, and then anchored by these penny loafers by Alan Edmonds. 
As always, full outfit details and links to everything are down below in the description. Leave a comment, let me know which outfit was your favorite. Thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.